Is he sleeping? No, my child. Whoa. I do not sleep. I dream. For reality and illusion are a duality. Two parts of a whole. Only the mirror of dreams reflects what is true. Anastasis, your grace. I am Lay Ashelia... down your words. Ashelia, daughter of Ramanas. I have dreamt your dream. Who better to carry on the Dalmascan line than she who bears the Dawn Shard? Your dream of a kingdom restored is known to me. Grand Kiltius, then give us your blessing. Grant the Lady Ash her I accession to the... This is something you might reconsider. My little emperor waiting. You called and I have come. Uh, this is the man I wanted you to meet. Believe it or not, he is a member of the noble house Margrace, rulers of the Rosarian Empire. I am but one of very, very many. Try as I might, I could not stop this war alone. Thus, I came seeking Lars's assistance. Uh, I'll seed Margrace at your service. To think I stand before the Lady Ash, it is truly an honor. Uh. I see it is true after all. Uh, stunning is Dalmasca's desert bloom. Uh. In Arcadia, Larsa. In Rosaria. Al Cid. They dream not of war. Should Empire join with Empire, the way will open for a new Ivelis in our time. <laughs> Grand Kiltius, you speak much of dreams, but in the real world, war is a bonus. Grand Kiltius, I was told my coming here would prevent this war. I was to assume my father's throne and announce the restoration of Dalmasca, treat with the Empire for peace, and persuade the Resistance to stay their hand. I have not come all this way to be asked to reconsider. A word from you and the Resistance would stop cold, and Rosario's pretext for joining the war scattered off to the Four Winds. This was what we had hoped. Alas, circumstances change. A full two years have passed since your reported death. Were it to become known you are still alive, I fear it could only worsen our current situation. Because I am powerless to help. Uh, nay, in fact it has little to do with you. Then what? If Lady Ash were to extend her hand in friendship, perhaps I could then persuade the Emperor. His Excellency will solve things peacefully. The Emperor Grammys is no more. His life was taken. Oh, father. Let us suppose you approach the Empire with a peaceful resolution. The late Emperor Grammys would have lent you his ear, that much is certain, but we are dealing with vain Solidor. Should the Princess return, he would claim her an imposter, all to tempt the Resistance into battle. Vain wants this war, that much is certain. As our ill luck would have it, the man is a military genius. The dreams have told me thus. To reveal yourself would imperil us all. I see war, and Vane's name writ bold on history's page. Arcadia's banners fly high. They are making ready for the coming war. According to our latest reports, the Western Armada prepares for war, under Vane's command, no less. The newly formed 12th Fleet has already been deployed. Oh yes, the Imperial First Fleet sends ready. They'll be underway as soon as the Odin's refit is complete. And there is more. 
The second Kerwin Expeditionary Force is being called in to replace the missing eighth, so there will be no gaps. The largest force ever seen! And then, the Nephocyte is the coup de gras. Grand Kiltius, your grace. I spoke to you of my succession. Let us put that aside. Should I become Queen of Damasca now, powerless as I am, I can protect nothing. With a greater power at my disposal, perhaps then. It is the Nethysite of which you dream? I require something far greater. To wield power against power. Truly the words of a Hume child. I am descended from the Dynast King himself. Indeed, then you have but one choice. Seek you the other power Wraithwall left. Does such a thing exist? Journey across the Paramana Rift to the still shrine of Miriam. There rests the gift he entrusted to the Grand Kiltius of his time. Seek it out. The Sword of Kings can cut through Nethysite. Why he would entrust the power to destroy Nethysite, the instrument of his greatness, to another and not to his own progeny, I cannot say. Awaken Hashelia Benagan and take up your sword or your dream will remain but a dream. My dream, too, fades into day. <laughs>